So this is a video starting at the outside of the building. It's got a pretty nice big parking area next to a little local cafe. There is a rental house that kind of goes with the property. This used to be a veterinary clinic, so this was the dog canine reception area. This is where I greet my clients. There's a massage therapist that works out of the building. Um, she uses this side for reception. And she uses sort of the second office. There's two offices in here. She's using this one for massage therapy. This was the laboratory area and then all of the exam rooms are still here. These are all just framed in, so this part of the building could be opened up. I haven't quite decided what to do with these yet. <clears throat> From the main reception area, this is my office. This office looks, overlooks the parking lot. So it's kind of nice space to have. There's a restroom and utility room. Washer and dryer is in there. <clears throat> this was one of the surgical recovery rooms. This I use for my cat boarding area. Have the little Corinda dog beds in here for cats, cat beds. And the outside walls are all cement block and I have a nice light block too, so there's a lot of natural lighting throughout the building. <clears throat> this was a surgery and x-ray area. I've made this a small kind of a training area. It's my treadmill, bathing tub, and then this is kind of where we do our CPR demos. I have scent tubes in here. I do a lot of scent training in here, imprinting. There are two more surgical recovery rooms. I use this one mostly for storage, small dogs. Really nice stainless steel cages in here. <clears throat> this one I just use mainly for storage, but it does have some kind of nice cages in this one too. Moving on, this is my largest kennel building area. fours. Everything's cement block in between and the kennels all the way to the ceiling. There are 27 kennels in this building. They have drains in the back and a drain in the front. These are um, puppies out of my stud dog, Nico. This one's also out of my dog, Sia. Letters. Border. And then we go to the outside area. Very large chain link fenced in area back here. It goes all the way around the building. And there's another two and a half acres behind this. It's all wooded now.
each kettle area and each area of the main building has separate heating and AC units. So it's all climate controlled. This hallway goes down to the North Kennel building. Again, this is past the massage therapy room. The storage area down here. Break room, which I never seem to use when I'm here because I'm always working. Another restroom. The large kennel area has 27 runs. This one has 19. These all have drains in the back of each kennel. I have epoxy coated all of the walls. Floors are all cement. And then this has kind of a little open area back here. This is where all of our training class attendees come in. Um, this door goes back out to the parking lot. So it's really nice they can walk through this kennel without having to walk through the building. <clears throat> so they're all three by eight runs. These are eight by 10 suites. Little three by fours. And then this store goes back out to the airing yard again. And this is our training yard. So that's kind of a walkthrough of the building and the facility.